Hello everyone, it's Glass Elevator, and finally I'm ready to put my Mustang back together. I have removed all of the damaged panels from my car. I've got the new hinge pillar. It's this part that goes right here. I'm going to not just weld it, but when I took off the old panel, it was glued on. It's not really glue, it's metal adhesive. I have it right here. Um, it's just like massive two-part epoxy. It's called Lord Fuser, company name Fuser, metal bonding adhesive. So it's going to go uh, here, down there, across here, and in there. And that's where, when I took the old panel off, that's where it was before. And this is um, Ford said you can use this. It's OEM kind of stuff. So yeah, I'm doing it by the book. I don't want to just like put Elmer's glue on it and just like tape it to here and just expect it to work. So, and then I just plug weld the rest of it and then it's good. Alright, now this panel's welded on and I did not catch anything on fire, so I call that a win. The next thing I gotta do is grind down these plug welds um, and I'll check if they're not welded very well, I'll just go over them and that'll be good. So my strut is still giving me trouble. Originally it was really bent from the accident and so I replaced just the strut part, not the spring or top. When I, I kind of put everything back together, the wheel is still kind of tilted. What the problem is that I found out, if you look at the top, this is part of the strut, it, it uh, doesn't stick out very much here. And on the good side, it sticks out a lot farther. So pretty much the, uh, the strut head got bent in the accident and I didn't notice until now. So I got a new replacement that'll fix the problem with the wheel being tilted. So let me get to it. All right, I got the shock part uh, if I put it on the ground and press down, it's nice and smooth in and um, slowly comes out just like it should. So this is still good. It's not like it got bent up or something. Uh, here's the top that it took off. So if you look at the new top, it's very flat everywhere. And this old top, it's like pushed in and then it's like bent really badly. Yeah, see that, and then that. 
way different. And this hole probably isn't completely straight and that's why the strut won't line up. So this one really should fix all those problems. So let's put it back on. Before you saw the angle was a little bit more straight up and down. It was kind of shallow. Now it's tilted out more. And So I put the line on this side of the car at the very top and then over here it kind of disappears. It goes over the top on this part. And this is such a minor little place where it's down a very insignificant amount but it actually is giving me trouble so I have to fix it. I've got this bottom piece, I just set it in here, and I haven't done that ever, and um, it fits really well. It's all lined up, ready to weld. So um, what I have to do is uh, grind down these surfaces and drill a few holes right in here because uh, there's this piece right here, and it goes kind of in the middle. So that kind of provides the inner structure. And then the top piece, I'll put that on. I also need to, uh, it didn't come with um, like threaded holes. So there's on the old one, there's these little like nuts and I'll weld them on to the places where it needs the threaded holes. And when I put the top piece on, it fits over it. These pieces go down in there. So it's kind of like that's what it'll look like once I weld it and stuff. So yeah, I'm pretty excited that I'm only a few hours away from welding this car together and then just I could just start it up and test drive it. That'll be amazing.
Alright, so final assembly. I've got the first piece clamped up and I'm just about to weld it. So, here we go. So far everything's going really well. Um, I've got this bottom piece now on and you can see it's it's like rock solid on here. Like if I pull on this, it's just moving the whole car. It's, it's already really strong. So the next piece is on the inside. I definitely wouldn't want to forget this or when I put the top piece on there would be no way to get this in without starting all over again. It's got holes in the bottom. And that's how it kind of lines up and that will kind of support this outer part and this metal is wicked strong it's really thick and it's probably high strength steel and um, it's I guess it's just about as hard as this shut tower so the next thing I'll do is weld that in Now that I put this reinforcement piece in, I cannot bend this piece at all. It is just rock solid and that's awesome. So I've got that piece I gotta put on top and it's got a ton of holes and there's holes all along this. It just goes on here and then I got the last piece. So yeah, so far so good. This is nice, it's actually driving straight. Before when I drive at a slow speed, the wheel would turn and end up like that. So 
Uh, it's going good. Look at the engine. Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. All right, let's go. <laughs> Damn, this drives just like a normal car. There's nothing wrong. Here's the view out the passenger door, very close to the ground. Alright, I'm gonna go right here and then floor it. Alright, thank you all for watching. Now that the framework is done, I'm on the home stretch. All I have to do is basically just bodywork. So subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned for the next video.